Hi everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to today's newest horoscope psychic tarot reading for the month of November 2022. This is for all zodiac signs for the month of November 2022. So thank you for listening and watching. Um, this is on Twitch, so make sure you, if you're not following me on Twitch, check me out at twitch.tv slash Lamar Townsend Tarot. This is live, alright, this is live streamed currently. But this will be uploaded later to YouTube and my podcast. So thank you all so much for your support. Let's go ahead and get into it and see what we've got going on for the month of November for all Zodiac signs. Let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and cleanse the cards. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this deck from any past readings. In the name of the Mother, the Daughter, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen, amen. And before we get into the reading, I want to let you guys know that I am available for personal reading. So if you would like your own personal reading, I am available at LamarTownsendTarot.com. Also, check me out on um, YouTube as well. Um, this is my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com, spelled just like my channel name or my podcast name or Twitch channel name. If you're listening to the podcast version right now, you can scroll down and read the reviews from people who have purchased readings from me. Check out my Instagram and Facebook where I post as well. If you would like a reading, go right to the store section. This is where you can go to view all the rates, services, products, classes, candles, and different types of things that I do offer. And I do many different types of things. I do email readings, phone readings, video recorded readings where you send your questions. And then I record your reading on my own time and then email you the video link to keep and download forever, basically. I do candles. I do mediumship readings if you want to connect to those who have passed on. I do past life readings. If you want to learn about your past lives, like I said, I also do birth chart, natal chart readings as well. If you want to know about your natal chart. So if you'd be interested in any of these things, once again, definitely check out my website. I am available and I would love to read for you. So let's kind of get right into it. We're going to start with, as usual, the zodiac sign Aries. And... We are currently, like I said, in the month of November 2022. So let me go ahead and change that and then we'll set this up. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's get right into it. We cleanse the cards. And let's see what's coming up for the zodiac sign Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and all placements in between. And actually, I'm going to move this down here. All right. Um, what's coming up for the zodiac sign? And actually, we can move this down here too, since. There we go. Alright. What's coming up for the Zodiac sign Aries for the month of November 2022? Aries for the month of November 2022. I'm going to pull one card for each sign and once we pull that card for the sign, we're going to put that card to the side so we don't pull it again. All right. So that's how we do these on Twitch and on the podcast. What's coming up for the Zodiac sign Aries for the month of... Just one card, Spirit. There we go. We got your one card. All right. You got the Six of Cups card, Aries. So for Aries, we got the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups in astrology does deal with one-on-one -on -one relationships, business partnerships. It can also deal with money and finances. Six of Cups definitely would deal with the relationships in general. So this would deal with either your relationship to money, how you make your money, how you spend your money, or this would deal with relationships in any way shape or form to be honest with you because it is a six of cups card particularly it would deal with a relationship in which there's some sort of emotional investment in some way all right um six of cups can deal with 
also the energy of support, like in the form of someone extending a hand of support to you or you having uh, the ability to extend your hand of support to someone else. So, but the interesting thing about that is that, you know, the way, how the way of karma works, when you're able to support someone and you extend your hand to them, you get good karma. All right. So, you know, even if you have the ability to help someone, you may want to, if you have it, you know, and you, you know, help them because you get good, good karma in that way, um, that way. It could be the energy of maybe you do something nice for someone and that person remembers you and then, you know, an opportunity comes down the line and they call you to help kind of thing. So just keep that in mind, the law of good karma and how that works in terms of helping people and things of this nature. Uh, there also could be something about like a past karma, good karma that you did for someone else or that you've incurred um, that could come into play this month in November. But it would come once again in the form of like someone extending assistance or help to you. So whether it's in the form of information, whether it's in the form of uh, um, whatever it is, you know, it, 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 it's the universe coming in some way, shape, or form to create a bond, create a connection, but also to help one another leverage to the next step or the next area of life. So don't be so solitary this month, Aries. Be open to networking. Be open to connecting with other people because in some way, shape, or form, it could be highly beneficial to you, to be honest with you. All right. Put that to the side. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the next sign, which is going to be Taurus. What's coming up for the zodiac sign Taurus for the month of November 2022? all so much for being here what's coming up for Taurus for October or for November I'm sorry 2022 okay we have the card fly out we'll take this one you got the two of cups so for you Taurus relationships could be prominent in some way shape or form a connection that you have with someone it is a cups card so it could be some sort of emotional connection an emotional bond um, either that you already have or that's already established in some way shape or form or this could be a connection or relationship that you are in the midst of establishing as we speak um, there's definitely something about a meeting of the minds this also could be a meeting of similar paths or journeys in life so this definitely could be good compatibility, good synergy between you and someone else. It is cups, so there could be an energy of maybe Cancer Pisces Scorpio showing up here, whether it's in someone's natal chart or just in the influence of the energies in some way, shape, or form. Um, two of cups would also denote, once again, um, a trust being developed between either you and someone else or you and some sort of entity, firm, you know, something like that. So this could be, be you know, in relation to business, romantic love friendship family or otherwise to be honest with you um whatever the um energy applies this is also to me represents like the caduceus card which represents health good health in some way so this could also represent maybe hearing good news in terms of health possibly for some of you um but there's also something about taking notice moving forward that like Maybe there's a need to maintain that. Okay, yes, you got a good bill of health. Maintain it moving forward, you know, or whatever it is. Maybe, you know, it wasn't so, you know, maybe it wasn't the best bill of health, but you can change it moving forward, you know. To me, the lion head all, always represents Leo, which is like forward movement to me. I always, rep I always associate with Leo the energy of forward movement. So maybe this is an energy of Leo uh, showing up here for here as well, Taurus, okay? But either way, relationships, networking, uh, connecting with others could be prominent in the month of November for you. Let's move on to Gemini. 
Very excited. What's coming up for the Zodiac Sign Gemini for November 2022? There we go. We got your one card. We'll take that one. You got the Six of Wands card. So Six of Wands is forward movement. It could be forward movement in the form of money, finances, relationships in some way, shape, or form. This could be you taking action. This could be you being proactive, moving in a certain direction. This definitely would be the energy of you being determined this month, Gemini. Maybe determined to see something through. Determined to get some sort of answers, clarity, or insight. There's determination around you this month in the month of November, Gemini. Um, and once again, I feel like this determination will see you through into um, seeing something move forward. Like, you know, even if it's an incremental movement forward. You know, there's something where... It's almost like you're determined to break down a door. You're determined to get an answer. You're determined to um, make something happen. Not necessarily in a way that it's like you're bulldozing the situation, but more so in a way of like, how can I say this? More so in the way of like confidence. Like you're just confident. Like something is meant for you. Or you're confident that you're meant for, like, you're the right person for a certain opportunity. Like, there's some sort of, like, confidence, you know, or persistence, you know, within you where it's like, you're just not giving up. And it will it will pay off somehow, some way this month. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. Alright? That fight within you, that determination, that fire, keep it burning. Alright? Because you're going to break down some doors this month, somehow, some way. Alright? Love that for you, Gemini. Let's see what's coming up for the Zodiac sign Cancer from November 2022. It's coming up for the Zodiac sign Cancer for November 2022. Cancer, you got the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords can definitely deal with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. The Knight of Swords is typically an energy of someone who is definitely determined in, in the form of their mind. Um, determined in the form of communication. Speaking up, this would be someone um, either with a need to speak up or someone who's very outspoken in some way. Um, the Knight of Swords could be someone who is very intellectual, intelligent. But may not be the most organized with it. So it's like they know a lot about everything. Or uh, they know a lot about a lot. But it's like it's jumbled. It comes out in the most like you know random moments or something like that. You know so there's like this energy of. Um, either this could be you. This could be someone else. I almost feel like if this is someone else. Like you need to like kind of be open to giving them a chance. Like, whether this is romantic, friend, friendly, or otherwise, or it's like, someone may be open to giving you a chance in some way. But, like, there's definitely, if this is you and your energy, there's a need to be mindful of how you show up to a situation, to be honest with you. Alright? Like, sometimes, it's like the energy of when we're really excited and, like, we can't stop talking kind of thing. And it's like you end up talking yourself out of the opportunity. Like, you don't want that to happen. Um, but at the same time, someone could pre present this energy to you this month. And it's like you're looking at them like, oh my god, the more you talk, the less I like you kind of thing. Alright? But maybe you need to be forward as well. Maybe you need to speak up and say, hey, you know, like, let's talk. 
more this. So, you know, like, it's okay to be that way this month. Like, don't be rude, but be forward. All right? All right, next is Leo. It's coming up for the zodiac sign, Leo. For the month of November, 2022. Make sure you all like the video, subscribe, share, keep in touch. Follow. Leo, you get the Knight of Wands. This definitely could be you. This would be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Knight of Wands is someone who's determined. Knight of Wands is someone who... Can be easily excitable can be very impulsive all right but very passionate very fiery all right so there could be something this month that you're very passionate very fiery about very determined very excited but the thing with this is just as quickly and as brightly and as um poignant as the flame will burn it will burn out it can burn out just as quickly and that can be like a common theme with a knight. Specific, specifically the knight of wands. Starting something but not seeing it to full fruition or ending it. Not seeing the full story arc to full completion. So be careful this month, Leo, of starting something and having a fat fire passion and burn, you know, burning desire. But letting the flame burn out too easily or too quickly. All right. Look at the 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 leaves on the wand, wand or the staff that the Knight of Wands here is carrying. There's growth here. All right. Which, if you know, if you have a green thumb, if you know anything about plants, this growth has the potential to lead to more growth if one is just patient and not so impulsive and doesn't overwater or put too much sunlight or, you know, it's like that kind of thing where you just gonna let. Sometimes things manifest the way they need to manifest, Leo. Alright? And do your part in the meantime. Some exciting energy, but don't let that excitement cause you to self-sabotage, alright? Or burn out. Okay, Leo? Virgo is next. What's coming up for the zodiac sign? Virgo... For November 2022. If you like your own personal reading, definitely text me at 703-791-9162. Visit my website, lamartownsintero.com. One card spirit. All right, we'll take that one. That one stuck out. I get the page of cups for you, Virgo. This definitely could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Um, this could be the energy of being in some sort of new emotional experience, some sort of new emotional environment, um, learning the terrain, emotional terrain of a new environment. Uh, so maybe some of you have started like a new job. Maybe some of you have started um, sort, of, sort of like or have invested in some sort of new opportunity like a new home, a new living situation. And it's like it, it's a new experience for you. Like there's there's you know how the energy of like imagine being a dog and for the first time 
or a cat even. Maybe imagine being a cat for the first time. You've been an indoor cat for the first two, three, four, five years of your life and your owner finally decides to take you on a walk or let you outside. It's a whole new world. It's a brand new place you never knew. Like that's the kind of energy we have here with the Page of Cups here, Virgo. Hi, Nina B711. Thank you. Nina B711 says, hello all, first time on Twitch. Thank you for being here, Nina B. Um, so yeah, this is the Page of Cups. Um, some of you, Virgo, could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. A page does denote someone young or younger than you. Could be a child. So, you know, maybe you have children or something like that. Um, it also could relate to maybe someone new, all right, in your life in some way, shape, or form, once again. So, very interesting. There's newness around you in the month of November, Virgo. Newness all around you. So be open, I would say. Be open and go with the flow. The Page of Cups is definitely someone who is, like, very go with the flow. Hard to, like, pin down, hard to tame. So... If this isn't you, they're going to definitely teach you to go with the flow, Virgo, whoever that is. Let's move to Libra. What's coming up for Libra for the month of November 2022? Make sure you follow me on Twitch, or on Twitch, um, Patreon, not Patreon. TikTok. Make sure you follow me on TikTok too because I like to pull cards on TikTok a lot as well. Libra, you get the Death card. So the Death card is actually not a bad card. The Death card is a card of endings, evolution, change, and growth. Um, the thing with the Death card is that like it can be experienced as something maybe a little bit painful or bittersweet. So with the Death card, something is ending in your life. Something is being phased out of your life in order for something new to begin. To me, Libra, the energy I get uh, of this is like, it's almost like you're growing a thicker skin. And it's interesting when it comes to thicker skin, it kind of does relate to the death card. It's like when, when it comes to like, if we think about it, like when we have a scar, like, you know, say we, you know, as a kid, you know, as a kid, we like to play a lot. We like to scuff our knee. But over time, you know, those knee scuffs and those scars on our knees or our elbows or whatever, or is it just me? You know, anyway, um, those scuffs on our knees and our elbows, you know, kind of, you know, they, they scab over time. And then, you know, eventually they grow new skin over time. That's like literally the metaphorical definition of growing thicker skin. Because in reality, you know, the scar, the skin in terms of the scar never grows back the same, the same but it does grow back thicker, right? So Libra, this could be, in, you know, related to maybe some sort of experience you're going through this month. Maybe you feel like you're being exposed, like a wound or some sort of, of wound is being exposed, but it's being exposed in order for new skin to grow over top. All right. You're growing thicker skin this month and, and you know, in some way, shape or form, and it's going to benefit you along your journey. All right, so if you feel like you're going through a lot of turmoil, trials or tribulations, you know, or t tough lessons or, or um, learning curves um, or growing pains, it's like, you know, it's all for, for a, a purpose. It's to help you grow tougher, grow thicker skin, to build character, things of this nature. All right, to help you in the next phase of your life, to be honest with you. Because that's what you're entering into. You're entering into the next phase. See the sun kind of beaming a little bit here. You know, it looks like it's setting. Or is it rising? Either way, it's metaphoric and symbolic. Okay? Alright, Libra. Next is Scorpio. What's coming up for the Zodiac sign Scorpio for the month of November 2022? Remember, I am available for personal readings right now at LamarTownsandTarot.com. You can text me at 703-791-9162. I'm also available for international calls as well. I do have WhatsApp, which is the common app people use for international calls. At least in the USA, I don't know. But it's also international too, so I don't know. 
Scorpio, we got your card. We got the Queen of Cups. So this could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, female or feminine energy. This definitely could be you. Um, the Queen of Cups is very, like, receptive, open to receive. Um, the Queen of Cups never shows their true hand. <clears throat> they may be very warm, very generous. They may be, be very cold and calculated. But n never, like, never um, underestimate the fact that there's more going on underneath. All right? So whoever this Queen of Cups is, this could be you. You're not going to see their next move coming. This could be you. Other people may not see your next move coming. And that might be a good thing. All right? It might be a good thing to not leave traces of your tracks behind. Which is a good thing that water can do. You know, it's easy to leave traces or tracks in the sand. But the good thing is that water over time, once it washes ashore enough times, it'll it'll erase the tracks that we leave behind. Isn't that interesting? Right? Water can be very cleansing. Water can be very much a spiritual tool. In a lot of ways. So, very interesting, uh, Scorpio. To me, this could be like letting go of the past. Alright. Kind of reminds me of those footprints of, um... I don't remember what they're called, but they're like footprints in Christianity or like... I don't remember what it is. Is it footprints of Jesus or something like that? I don't know, but it's like... There's something about your the footprints of the past are being washed away for you, Scorpio. But it's a healthy thing. Alright. Your DNA connected to the past is being erased. So that a new, a new future can begin for you. Officially. Let's do Sagittarius next. What's coming up for Sagittarius in the month of November 2022? By the way, happy birthday to my Sagittarius having their birthday this month. Happy birthday to my Scorpios. Forgot to say that for Scorpio. Sorry about that. What's coming up for the Zodiac sign Sagittarius? For the month of November 2022. Okay, we got the Ten of Cups card for you, Scorpio. So the Ten of Cups card definitely can deal with feeling, um, Nina B says just shared. Thank you, Nina B. Thank you for sharing this stream. Um, the Ten of Cups for you, Scorpio, would relate to feeling like you're a part of a community, feeling like you're a part of a family in some way, shape, or form. This actually could be your actual family, maybe, you know, whether this is family you have chosen or family that is blood related to you or that chose you, whatever the situation may be, this is a feeling of feeling connected. Now, I know in November, in America at least, this definitely is the month of Thanksgiving. So it could be some sort of celebration or something like that, dealing with your culture, dealing with your, um, you know, something like that. Um, a Ten of Cups could also be a, a reaching a milestone in your life or your career in which other people are happy for you, all right? So maybe you reach some sort of milestone and it's like people are proud of you or um, people may be proud or happy for the investment in you. That they have invested in in terms of you helping you to reach your milestone or goals. So it's not just once again a goal that's like you've accomplished for you. You've accomplished it for other people that helped you along the way. Alright Sagittarius. So this is kind of interesting. Um, at the very least for some of you this is seeing the light at the end of the tunnel ahead. So if you've been going through a tough time you're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel soon all right in the month of november but in the form of you're safe you're at home you're we you're exactly where you need to be because these are all traits of once again a ten of cups card all right you have to let me know how that manifests for you sagittarius capricorn is next what's coming up for capricorn for november 2022 
coming up with a zodiac sign Capricorn for November Just one card for Capricorn Spirit. Okay, there we go. Alright, I like that. I'm here for it. Capricorn, you got the Three of Wands card. So the Three of Wands is being um, open to having multiple options in life. Three of Wands can deal with travel, higher education, higher learning, optimism, good luck, stepping outside your comfort zones in some way. Um, seeing what's out there, looking at, you know out on the horizons and seeing where your opportunities lie so um i will say also capricorn that three of wands can deal with having multiple streams of income or multitasking so this definitely could be a busy month for you capricorn um it's a month of your priorities shifting or changing as well so you may end up shifting um your priorities or changing your priorities in a direction that may bring you more promise more opportunity you know in the future in some way um you're also looking at what's no longer working and either looking to see how you can expand upon what's no longer working or completely let go of what's not working and start something new once again um but it's not necessarily like you want to start something completely new it's like you want to start something new but that's in your in your wheelhouse basically so to speak so um I would say the best thing for you in the month of November, Capricorn, would just be to be open-minded. All right? Be open-minded. Try not to put yourself in a box. All right? Go with what you feel. And, like, well, Three of Wands is also a card of freedom. So, at the end of the day, go towards that which gives you the most freedom. All right? Not a bad card at all, Capricorn, for November. Let's move into Aquarius. What's coming up for Aquarius for the month of November 2022? Aquarius. take this card just because it's the only one left standing <laughs> so I'm just gonna go with it you get the two of Pentacles Aquarius so the two deals with two in numerology deals with emotions um, family the home emotional security uh, two of Pentacles deals with a uh, balance in terms of practicality so some of you could be juggling a lot, Aquarius. Some of you could be overworking yourself. Some of you could be stretching yourselves too thin. And there's a need to balance things out. All right. It's not the energy. November is not the month where it's like. You know how sometimes we have those ideal moments in our mind where it's like, okay, well, if I just work the entire month, 80 hours each week, no break. You know, I'll be fine. I'll make the amount of money I need. You know, I'll have that in the bank and we'll be good. And it's like, in theory, <laughs> theory, it's a good idea. But when you start to put it into practice and you realize, oh, crap, I don't, you know, I didn't think this through. I didn't realize that 80 hours a week would be so hard. I didn't realize that I would need some fun. I would need a, a getaway. You know, I didn't realize my mental health would take a toll. It's like all these things come into play when you push yourself to the brink, the brink or you push yourself further than you need to further than your body your mind your emotions your spirit can handle all right not a month to do that aquarius 
Remember, you're not superhuman. You're not Superman. You're not Superwoman. All right. Even though you can get a lot done, you, you may be close to it at times, but in in reality, you can't be that all the time. Balance is key in the month of November, Aquarius, particularly when it comes to once again practical things. So, balance in terms of work, job, your daily routine, your health. All right. You can't have, you can't be, you know, a good employee if you're not, you know, taking care of your your need for rest and adequate nutrition, right? Like, that's the type of balance this is speaking about, okay? So don't attempt to be Superman, don't, don't attempt to be Superwoman or Superhero this month. You know, if you do, you may find yourself out of balance. That's not what you're meant to be this month. You're meant to balance things out. Balance your life out. All right, uh, Aquarius. Lastly is Pisces. What's coming up for the Zodiac sign Pisces for November Just one card for Pisces spirit. Some of y'all need a personal reading because <laughs> these cards want to pull out a whole deck. The whole deck, y'all. Um, actually, we pulled this one earlier for one of the signs. Um, I meant to pull that card out. So let's pull another card for Pisces. I want each sign to get their own unique um, individual experience their own unique um, individual message spirit so please help me to get Pisces their own individual unique message in the form of one card Pisces is me, yeah, yes, Nina. The best for last, right? All right, Pisces, you get, let's see, I don't have my nails, so it's hard to pick up the card. Okay, Pisces, you get the Ace of Wands. So the Six of Wands was not far off, to be honest with you, uh, for you. Ace of Wands is forward movement. Ace of Wands is breaking through barriers. Ace of Wands is... Uh, proactiveness so this is a good month for you to be proactive Pisces this is a good month for you to be uh, proactive towards breaking down barriers um, nothing can you know um, stand in your way except for yourself where there's a will there's a way this month um, this is a month of getting things done all right so I would not necessarily waste time this month i would try to be as productive as possible all right um because it definitely will pay off all right definitely will pay off um with the ace of wands for you pisces the ace of wands though is, is you taking action there's going to be a need for you to take action it's not like the energy of you sitting back it's like you maybe you're looking for a job for example and you put it you spend one day sending in applications and you know the, for the rest of the month or the rest of the week you sit back you know and, and wait for you know the the emails to pour in no you're gonna have to keep applying you know daily you know weekly monthly until you get a yes until a contract is signed kind of thing all right you're gonna have to be proactive all right to get things done but you will get things done as long as you're proactive all right, and getting things done this month, all right? Don't underestimate your um, ability to make things happen, okay? You're more powerful than you give yourself credit for, okay? I'm moving from one state to another. Mm, so that would be the forward movement for you then, Nina B. 7-Eleven, yeah. All right? 
Very interesting. All right, you guys. Well, if you would like to elaborate, number one, get a personal reading. I am available um, on my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. But if you would like to get more elaboration for your specific zodiac sign, you might want to subscribe to my one of my YouTube. I have two YouTube channels, and one of them I am uh, I do horoscope reading. So you might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Lamar Townsend. Here, I am doing horoscopes for the month of November. We're halfway through. Um, I think we have a few signs to get through, but the good thing is that, you know, we have a few days until the 1st of November. So we're kind of right on track, to be honest with you. But if you want your own personal horoscope, definitely check out my YouTube channel, Lamar Townsend, formerly Lamar Does Life. All right, um, and I will see you there. I'll see you in the next video. Either way, I will see you soon. Thank you all for being here. Have a good night, Nina B. Thank you for those listening on the podcast and those watching on YouTube. Love and light, God bless, and I will see you in the next video. I will see you in your own personal reading. Either way, I will see you soon. Love and light. And happy November.